Um, I'm sorry, I did it. All right, here we go. Ready, guys? All right, three, two, one. Hey, what's up? You guys are listening to Local Frequencies, your connection to the local music scene. As you hopefully know by now, I'm Bree. And I'm Bree. <laughs> Kyle always throws me up. And we have... Bree. Uh, Brie got really manly really fast. <laughs> um, and then, but we also have Tony Mueller. Wow, why can't, why can't I say that? Mueller. Tony Mueller. Thank you, Kyle. I can't, I can't talk today. Um, and you're from Austin, right? Yes, Are originally. you originally from Austin? Okay. Yeah. And then you, like, went away, came back, or you lived here your whole life? Or? Uh, yeah, actually, I went to high school most of my days in uh, Wisconsin Dells High School, and then kind of came to Austin. Uh, been away for a while. Mm -hmm trying to find uh, my groove with the music or whatever and ended up uh, hitting home. So. Nice. Okay, cool. So, so right off the bat, what's your favorite color? My favorite color? Favorite color. I got four of them. You have four of them? I got four of them. Purple, green, red, and magenta. Oh, see, magenta is really close to pink, so that makes me happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Colors. What's your favorite color, Kyle? My favorite color is green. It's not blue? It's green? I've always thought it was blue. Oh. It's like I don't even know you. You don't even know me. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite color? Cobalt blue. All right, all right, maybe very that's where I got the blue thing specific. from. We all know my favorite color is pink, so we need we don't even need to go there. Um, anyway, so let's get to know Tony a little bit. Um, so you, <clears throat> how long have you been, let's start with songwriting. Let's start with songwriting. Songwriting fine. Yeah. Sounds great. Sounds um, great. <laughs> Um, how long have you, when did you start, first start writing your own originals? Um, I started writing my originals when I was about 15, around the same time that I picked up a guitar. I was okay. like 12 or 13, and just started learning chords right off the bat. Never really learned other people's songs. Just kind of tried to do my thing right off the bat. Do you, uh, do you remember your first original? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I couldn't perform it. What was it called? It was, oh, it was called uh, P.S. I Wrote You a Love Song. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, feel like, I feel like all of our first originals, like I think one of my first ones is like a love, like a love type yeah, song. I think it's we're all love struck in high school. Like, yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I, I can't relate. I write instrumentals. So. You don't have any instrumentals that are like feel love? <clears throat> uh, they don't that was bad English, but it's yeah, okay. No, but they, it's okay. <laughs> I, I suppose, but not, not, not really. Not really? Oh, well. Kyle's heartless. Yep. I'm we knew heartless. that though. I am no song. Anyways, I'm not um, so how many originals would you say you've written? Well, you're what, 23 now? Yeah, I'm going to 22 next Friday. Oh, 22. Actually, yep. Okay, well, nice. I was really close. So. Yeah. Gabe wrote a love, love song once. Gabe, you wrote a love song? Yeah, it's the, it's the one we showed you. The uh, Adams County love song. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> wow. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. No, this radio station reaches out there. <laughs> <laughs> We swear to you, it was not offensive. No, it was actually a pretty good song. We love all of you out there in Adams County. We, we love do. you all. And please keep listening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you're going on 22. So how many songs would you say since you started writing to now you've written? Uh, originals that I'm comfortable performing for people. Oh, about no, no, no. Like total. 20 of, them, 20 of them like that I'm comfortable with. Yeah. About 40 probably. That's cool. Like, yeah. That's more originals than I have. I got a lot of them. We should start writing more originals. Yeah, we should. Yeah, it's, it gets, definitely gets so crazy. Like, um, <coughs> if you ever start performing, like, if you ever get with a band and stuff, you'll, like, it's really hard to write your own songs and stuff. Because, I mean, everybody wants to hear oh, yeah. covers, you know? And yeah. people, some people want to hear originals, but a lot of people want to hear covers that they know. Yeah. Um, yeah. One of the best things I think I've ever heard, I wouldn't say the best things I've ever heard, but, like, Something that has always stuck with me since I've heard it, I was in a bar one night talking to a guy about um, the band, and he was like, do you want to know how I like, how do you, you want to know how I know if I like a band? And I was like, how? He's like, if I know the song they're playing. So it's kind of unfortunate because a lot of people, oh. we want to write originals and we want to play our originals, but not a lot of people appreciate them. I so think, it's kind of hard as an artist. No, yeah. I think once you make a name for yourself. Then people want to hear your originals. Like. Yeah, and once you start getting, you know, more popular, then you can start integrating your originals in there. And I think we should start writing more originals for you, what do you think? I think we should, too. I think we have a pretty good set of cover songs. I think you guys songs. Too. I think, <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Um, Tony, what's your earliest musical memory? Like, way, way back. Like, it could be anything from just listening to, like... Um, being a little kid <coughs> in church, 
Okay. And they're just watching people like jumping up and down on stage. And uh, you went to a fun church. I got, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it was like white people acting like they were in a southern church. I, you know, I went to just, church. Woo. It was just stand up, you know, stand. Yeah. Sit. Yeah. You know. I went to um, I went to my little sister's confirmation a couple weeks ago, and um, like. Like, I believe, you know, everybody has their own beliefs and, you know, whatever. Um, but sitting in church, like, it was just so lifeless. Like, I don't know, maybe if it was just, just the Sunday that I was there or what. You know, maybe people were just tired or, you know, they just weren't into it or whatever. But I definitely feel like you have to make whatever you believe in still, of like, a part of you and make it fun and not just so, like, sit there and listen to the sermon and read the... You know, sing the hymns, and you have to really feel it. I feel like I, sometimes churches yeah, just don't get yeah. that, so when, it's hard. When I was in Memphis, we went to Al Green's church. And have you ever seen the Blues Brothers? Yeah. You know the scene Am where I they the go into the one? church? Yes, you are literally okay. the only one that hasn't <laughs> seen the Blues Brothers. I know. She hasn't seen the Blues Brothers. But you know the scene when, when they're in the church? Yeah. They're, like, doing backflips and stuff? Mm -hmm. it, was, it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. I gotta go to your yeah. church, man. No, and, uh, so, more questions. I'm huh? eating you. You are you eating. Talk, you are Kyle. eating very loudly into the microphone. <laughs> yeah. That's attractive. You're welcome to our listeners. <laughs> um, so, so, Tony, what kind of guitar do you have? Oh, I have, uh, Alvarez, uh, folk body. It's, it's a cute guitar. His name <laughs> is Jethro. I have a relationship Jethro. with my guitars. Yeah, yeah. How's she playing? So, Oh, mm -hmm. this one's a he, actually. I was like, did you just call Jethro yeah, a yeah. girl? Oh, yeah, no, I yeah, played a girl named Jethro once. Oh. I have it. Plays beautifully. <laughs> Plays beautifully. Yeah. I got uh, a couple more guitars at home. I got one Lola. I got a Zira. <clears throat> and, yeah, we all got great relationships. And they're That's my good. best friends. So. Isn't it sad how we can't have just one? Like, like no, I don't even can't. play as well as, like, Kyle does. And <clears throat> I have three guitars. Huh? And I just play chords. But I just like them. I like to look at them. I've had tea parties before I get first. Set them around the table. I have. I've done that before. I have, I, I have no fantastic. comment for that. I just have one drum set. <laughs> Gabe just has one drum set. Don't worry, Gabe. You'll end up like John one day. You know, and seven, um, 30 drum, drum sets. Drum sets yeah. And he sells there. one so he can bring home two more. John's our old drummer. He's a, he's a hoot and a half. That's uh, for sure. He's our hippie he's our, dad. He's our hippie dad. Yep, he's our hippie dad. Uh, yeah. Um, what else do we usually ask? Oh, okay. What um, do we usually ask? Do you have, like, what's your um, inspiration for writing your songs? Um, uh, day to day life, honestly. <coughs> like, I, I'll think of random words in my head that I think would sound cool behind music, and I'll write them down, you know? And then eventually it'll just morph into a song. But my biggest inspiration for writing music was my grandfather. I mean, he's he uh, he's always been the lead of the choir at church or whatever, and he's always wanted to learn to play guitar. But never did, so I taught myself how to play and wanted to write songs. It's know, awesome. Just, just for him, yeah. So. so, so as of right now, I know like when I listen to music, I can't focus like on one artist all my life, you know, because you, you're constantly finding new oh, ones. Yeah, yeah, so, what's too. your as of right now? Who's your favorite artist? Oh, jeez. You put me on the spot. All, um, the, all the time. Yeah. I would say, as of right now, there's this band called Polyphia, all right. and all they do is instrumentals, like with uh, seven strings, and, and, and you know, cool. it's a little jazz jetty. It's cool, real cool. I mean, it's just fun to listen to just instruments every now and then, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like a modern Bach, Beethoven type stuff. That's it's cool, cool, yeah. Yeah. So, so what kind of music are you into? So. Um, actually, I'm a big metalhead, very big metalhead. Nothing wrong with that. Doing the Nothing acoustic scene that. right now, yeah. So. It's goofy. It's nothing wrong with metal yeah, heads. No. What's your favorite metal band? Oh, I have so many. <laughs> I have so many. A Day to Remember is by far All my right. favorite. Yeah. You know, a punk alternative, uh, post hardcore band. You know. Yeah. Gabe over here may not look like it, but he's a huge metal head too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, he's, yeah he was, you know of Day to Remember then? Uh, yeah, I've heard him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, really good band. Good, band too. good people. What's your favorite, favorite metal people. band, Gabe? Uh, changed from day to day. I've been really into Maiden lately, but. What about you, Brie? What's your favorite metal band? Yeah, <clears throat> I don't. Uh, unfortunately, you know I what? don't really. I know. I know what your favorite is. Except, isn't it? Your favorite metal band is Except. Just say yes. Yes. 
Alright. You ever heard of Cup? Alright, no, no, but I'll have They're to insane. Say. They're insane. They're, we'll have to okay, listen so, to so it some, later. Some, of, some of the lyrics are crazy. They have a song and just one part about a thousand dragons descending from the sky. Yeah, it's like the most stereotypical, like, 1980s. Oh. <coughs> now, I don't really stuff. listen to, to metal, really. It was never... It was never really a part, like, nobody in my family, you know. Right, right. I could sing a bunch of Disney songs for you, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah, don't, we'll, you we'll can't do that see. on the radio. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but um, we're actually going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to get to little, why can't I speak today? We are going to get to know a little more about Tony. We're gonna get a little Tony. We're gonna get a little Tony. Oh yeah. When we come back, we're gonna get a little Tony. You guys are listening yeah. to local frequencies, your connection to the local music scene. All right, three, <coughs> two, one. Hey, welcome back to Local Frequencies. I am Bree Morgan, and with uh, with me is Tony Mueller. Isn't that right? You're here, right? Everybody's yeah, I'm here. Today. You're real, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's real. I, I was once at a. Where was I? I was. Where was uh, no, I? I, I no, it, it was um, <laughs> it was at the club tavern in Madison, and a guy came up to me and asked me if I was real. Are you? Yeah, I hope so. He just came up to me and was like, "Are you real?" I'm like, I I hope so. Oh, the people. <laughs> I should have said no. No, no, <laughs> for the freak him out. <laughs> Probably would have flipped out. No. So so Tony, what's your favorite food? My favorite food. Favorite I'm a simple food. guy. Tuna casserole. Tuna casserole. Really? Tuna casserole. Tuna casserole. Yeah. casserole? Yeah. casserole. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with tuna casserole. Not at all. Tuna casserole. Gabe, in a long time. you got a favorite food? I'm sorry, Brie. I I don't know. Brie, what's your favorite food? Which Brie? Tuna casserole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um I think I really like uh. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I crave macaroni and cheese and pizza rolls a lot. Oh wow. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I so do I. I like carbs. <laughs> I like carbs, and that's bad, but... Are you a college student you didn't tell us? <laughs> I was for a year, and I never got out of it, I guess. I... Hey, I used to make whole boxes of Alvina macaroni and cheese in the microwave and eat it all, so... I, I'm proud of it. I like a good salad. Not like just the iceberg lettuce and all that stuff. No, spinach salad. Coming from the man who only went to Denny's a couple weeks ago, got ice cream for his dinner. Yeah, yeah. But, I but like, he likes salad. I like a good spinach salad. I like liking salad and ice cream. A little balsamic <laughs> vinegar <laughs> on there. Oh, I, love I love spinach. I love spinach on my pizza. Yeah, spinach yeah. is great. I can't ever eat mac and cheese without tuna, though. Way, that's I good. That's a good combination. That'd yeah. probably make it better. Oh, that's a good combination. Really good. What's your favorite kind of mac and cheese, though? Favorite kind? Like Velveeta? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Or homemade with them. like the Velveeta block of cheese that you just The whole block. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cheesier, the better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um. So, where? 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 Where are we? Right, so. We start right. talking about mac and cheese, and I'm hungry again. You're. you're you're trapped in an elevator. Oh, Alright. But for some odd reason you have the ability to adjust the, the, the music. Tailor the music in the elevator to your uh, need. Um, but you're stuck in the elevator forever. So but you're allowed to bring one album with you to this elevator. This very strange elevator. In a nondescript oh building. You have to listen to it over and over and over. City. Forever. What is it? Greatest hits by Grateful Dead. Just like the greatest hits of Grateful Dead. I would listen to Grateful Dead for eternity. Yes. Yeah. He didn't take that long to answer. No, he was no, like, he was ready for that. Yeah, ready for that. You're ready to live yeah. in this elevator. Huh? Yeah. So, Definitely. Would, you <laughs> say, <laughs> would you say that your, um, your grandpa got you Fourth into album. music? Like, <laughs> what got you into wanting to play and write? Uh, playing guitar, actually. Uh, it's kind of a funny story. I wanted to learn how to play guitar, idling um, John Bon Jovi, oh. and uh, <laughs> um, I build like a cardboard guitar and used to like do air guitar to it and whatever. Then I t finally told my grandpa, "Hey, I want to learn to play guitar," and he took me to one guitar lesson. I learned the G power chord, <laughs> and then after that, my grades started slipping. So he said, "No more guitar lessons." And I said, "Okay, well, I'm gonna stick it to the man and teach myself how to play." <laughs> And yeah, that's exactly what I did. And then what made me want to write songs really is because 
I enjoy being in front of people. My family gave me the privilege of uh, playing guitar in front of them for like holidays and, and at church I got to play. And I just love playing in front of people and seeing what kind of mood that I can put them in. That's, you know? that's cool. Yeah. That's so if I, if I can make you happy, it's awesome. If I can make you cry, that's even more awesome. <laughs> if I can make you uh, shed uh, tears of happiness, that's the greatest. That's so, the greatest. And that's my goal. That's my goal. It's just that's to cool. get the message across. That's a good across. goal. Yeah. 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 I always love when we play and people are like, you know, people are listening, you know, they're out and they're listening and blah, blah. Like when we do a song, and for some reason how we're doing it just really seems to hit like really hit the people that are there and they all stop and watch and listen and you're like mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> gotta love the applause at the end yeah yep yeah. Yeah. yeah it's really hard when uh, you either play an empty bar or a bar that is listening but just doesn't applaud so you're yeah. like it's like yeah. they're lying to you it's cool playing for no people sucks. i'm pretty decent at getting the crowd going i mean even if there's only 10 yeah. people in the bar i'm just I that's just keep good. yelling until they're yelling. I'm just like, hey, are you going to yell for me or what? You know, so. That's, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Antagonize. I need to be a little yeah, more like antagonize that. Antagonize them, then they'll, they'll get it. They'll get the picture. Throw a few things at them. Sometimes antagonizing yeah. drunk people is not a good thing, though. Like, I just... Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Gabe. I don't have anything. Go ahead, Gabe. I mean, Brie. I mean, Brie. What's your favorite smell? Oh. Yeah, I told you we ask weird questions. Oh, wow. Well, they ask weird questions. Mm. I love smelling my grandma's bacon. I'm really glad you finished <laughs> that sentence. Of all the ways to finish that sentence, bacon was the best. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not as a pig bacon. I'm just really bad at doing the ing thing. So like bacon, like bacon cookies. Oh, oh I get you. Oh, yeah. bacon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bacon. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were bacon like bacon, like the bacon. meat. Yeah. I like that too. I love though. that smell when I walk into her house. Love yeah. It was great. Yeah, my my grandma didn't bake because she would argue with the recipes. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, your family's it weird. doesn't need two eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like, okay, Grandma, that's enough for you next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, we're going to take another break, and when we come back, Tony is going to play his original for us called Merry Go Round. Right? Yes. All right, and then uh, so we'll, he'll, we'll have him play it, and then we'll talk about it, and then... I don't know. We'll see where it goes from there. Free. And we'll set him free. All right, thanks you guys for listening to Local Frequencies, your connection to the local music scene. I have small ears. All right, ready? It's a weird thing to notice, but... Three, two, one. Hey, we're back, and you're listening to Local Frequencies, your connection to the local music scene. We have Tony Mueller set in right the this house. time. In the house. Oh, yeah. In the station. I guess that's kind of a house. It's a house. It is a house. It so looks, that works well. It looks well. a lot like a house, less like a radio station. It's like a very big house. Decent sized house. Yeah. It, it's, it's a, a very house. nice house. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a house. Alright, um, so Tony is going to play his original Mary go round for us. And whenever you're ready, Tony. Alright, let's Go for it, it man.
awesome. That was thank, actually thank you. awesome. <laughs> that was, that was cool. Oh man. I, I, I love that cool. chorus bit yeah, there going around. Yeah. That's, that's creative, yeah. Very nice, thank you. Cool. Well, I, I mean, I, I got to listen to it already. I, I, I like to, I like to like intertwine and foreshadow and song stuff. Like right in the beginning it says, I recall spinning on a merry-go-round. Yeah. That's why I do the chorus as merry-go-round. Yeah, that was, that was cool. And like, girl, you got my heart caving in because you make my whole world spin. Yeah. On a merry-go-round. <laughs> yeah, it all intertwines, man. I got a weird way of writing. Very weird. Whatever Ooh, works, works for everybody. Works cool. Yeah. 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 Everybody writes weird. Like sometimes I can write, sit down and write a whole song, and then sometimes it takes me like a half hour, right? Eh? Three months. <laughs> like not even kidding. Like oh, sometimes yeah. I get song ideas. Lately, my problem has been um, I have I get all these ideas, and then I get all these cool lyrics and stuff, but they they're not like the same song. Does that make sense? No, like, I know exactly oh, what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Like, I have like yeah. all these lyrics. I have like paragraphs of lyrics. And I need to try just, so hard to fit them together. And they just don't work. Yep. Like, it just doesn't work. And I I can, you can't force it, you know what I mean? Like, yep. if it doesn't fit together. And But eventually, a lot of times, I save everything. So then I'll be writing another song, and I just can't find seem to find, like, a line or whatever. And I'll go back, and I'm like, oh, hey, look at this from, like, a year ago. That's cool. And then we put it in, and then it's a song. And we're like, woo, right. new original. I have literally, like, maybe 90 recordings of just song ideas on my computer and that I can refer to when I'm writing a song and like, okay, I need more to this. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Can I go so back and see? Well, he that's plays a like a bajillion different instruments, so. Yeah, oh, really? so I have, yeah. I have everything on there. His songs from, are cool. <laughs> from double bass, you know, upright bass tracks to guitar, piano, trumpet, trombone, stuff like wow. that. And you play them all pretty well, huh? Uh, I guess. He plays by ear, I, so basically, oh, wow. yeah. though, yeah. basically I mean, he cool. basically he picks up any instrument and just plays it. We um, I bought a violin a couple months ago now when we went to lacrosse, and I've been teaching myself that. I don't know how to play that. No, he's terrible at that, which makes yeah. me really happy. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah it gives me a little <laughs> bit of joy. But um, no, so we were there in a couple of music stores in lacrosse, and he um never touched a banjo in his life. Picks up a banjo and starts playing it. Ooh, that's just not an easy instrument. And I'm either, like, that's well, cool. I, I that's pick it up because, like, that's cool. It's yeah. whatever. The first string <laughs> was just like take a guitar and you put the, the high E string on top, and everything else is normal from A down or, or something like that. Good. So as long as you you play it like that, I mean, it's pretty yeah. easy to figure so out. He just picks as up long as you can remember, the high string is on the top and not the bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. So, but I'm really fortunate to have someone like Kyle though, because I can only do so much on the guitar, which is not much. Oh, sure. And I sing, and uh, his mom always pushes him to sing, and I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, he can't take that from me. Like, I just, <laughs> that's all I have. <laughs> I just don't sing. Kyle can't though, start so. singing at our gigs. I have nothing then. <laughs> like, oh, no, yeah. no, it'd be cool for if he did backup. I can't wait. We to do see a couple duets. Tonight. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, it'd be cool. What I so. With, um, Manish boy and I'm a woman. But anyways, They're so we are actually at the end of our show. So thanks for coming on, Tony. Oh, thank you. And for um, you, uh, uh, we did a video record this interview too, so it will eventually be on YouTube on our local frequencies channel at some yeah, point. My internet's really, really slow at home. So Tony's on YouTube now. Hi. It takes like. Oh, hey, the door was in the like way like again. Blocking Gabe out. Well, no, that's okay. at least it was just Gabe this time and yeah. not the whole shot like we did one time. Oh, with Alabaster. Yeah, yeah. we had Alabaster on and uh, we had the door open because they had like 40 people with them, you know, so we didn't all fit in here. And uh, yeah, doors in front of the camera the whole time. I think yep. I uploaded it anyways. Great. You did. Because they wanted, they wanted it, so I was like, well, doors in the way, but here you go. <laughs> they still love this. Um, but so you can find Tony on Facebook. He doesn't have an artist page, but he is like on Facebook, so I'm sure if you look him up, he will probably mm -hmm. add you. Um, so it's Tony, T-O-N-Y, and Mueller, M-U-L-L-E-R, um, and, oh, you're doing an open mic at Rehab on yeah. the, help me out here, the On uh, June 5th, it's going to be the first Sunday of every month, actually. Yeah, so you want to know what? Talk Jerry into that, or yeah. not Jerry, I talked Jeremy into that. Yeah, 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 well, he said he's down for it, Yeah, so, yeah, uh, we were sitting there talking about um, music at Rehab for the summer, you know, and it's kind of telling them about the, how the lake bars work and stuff like that, and I'm like, you know, if you did, if you got it down pat, where you did like an open mic every first Sunday, and then like a live band every like third Sunday or fourth Sunday, depending on how many Sundays are in the month, yeah, you know, I said if you start doing that, people will start 
yeah. to get it in their head. And the cool thing is, is we don't have an open mic here in town. The closest one is um, uh, in Nacida. Nacida. So that, that's what I heard, and that's yeah. why I went down yeah. there to talk there to is one, right away. Yeah, there is yeah. one in Lisbon, but I mean, still, for people that don't want to travel that far, or for some people that can't, you know, some people don't have a vehicle, they don't need, they don't have a need yeah. for one, so it's cool to have one right in town here, yeah. bring bring a little more music yeah. here in town. I'm glad, I'm glad you kind of took charge on that yeah, and got it going, because... Awesome. Yeah. First Sunday of every month, we're going to have it for, it starts at 4 p.m. Okay. Uh, bring your local talent and your instrument, do whatever, come out and sing, come out and play. You guys play. have, like, a sound system yeah. set up, right? Yeah, like we're going to have, we're gonna have it all set up. We, awesome. we had Derek Slater in helping us out uh, last time. You know, we might get some more uh, equipment next time. But the uh, cool thing is, is everybody's inviting all invited all ages. It's yep. gonna be great. Yep. Y'all can come yeah, see awesome. me play as well. Yeah, we know it's we know it's a bar, course, but it is Sunday and an after in the afternoon. So if your kid is loves to play, bring them out. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. it's a family family fun right. environment as long um, as for the open 10 mics. PM, yep, we're good. Yep, you can family fun there. environment yep. for the open mics every first Sunday at rehab here in Boston. Yeah, definitely. So cool. All right. Anything yeah. else? Nothing else. Um, so look for Tony's interview on YouTube in the next couple weeks. We always post it on our local frequencies page, which if you haven't, you should go like. And we, I mean, we get some feedback from the show, but we would love to hear from you guys what you like, oh, yeah. what you don't like. So if you like post a status or like send us a message, like hashtag local frequencies, I'll be looking for that stuff. Internet so, stuff. Internet stuff. We're on the internet. We are on the internet. Who's that, whose card is that on? That was Newport Jam. Newport Jam. Their business card says, uh, we're on the internet. I love it. <laughs> I right. love it too. Well, thanks, Tony. Awesome. Yeah, thank well, you so Tony, much, guys. Yeah. All it's right. You guys. you guys are listening to Local Frequencies, your connection to the local music scene. Oh, yeah.